the eight. It's entertainment schmig. Well, it's sad. It is no longer a hoax. Man, he has been dodging death rumors for 30 years. But sadly, Abe Vigoda died from natural causes yesterday at the age of 94. Famous for Barney Miller and the spin-off Fish and, of course, his role in The Godfather. Mike, can I have a minute? Barzini wants to arrange a meeting. He says we can straighten any of our problems out. You talk to him? Yeah. I can arrange security. On my territory. All right. He sounded old there. He I know. Looked, yeah. He old. looked there. <laughs> there. Know, yeah, right? he's been old for... Well, he had one of those long faces, big nose. Mm, sunken kinda... eyes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. but uh, I think I interviewed him one time. He was really a sweet guy. But yeah. The other... Barney Miller. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, uh, Hal, Hal Linden. Linden. He was a... I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The D yeah. word. Pick that. out a D mm. word and, yeah, he was terrible. So funny. A lot of people have been talking about Abe Vigoda recently because as the Super Bowl comes up and S- Super Bowl ads talking about memorable ones from the past, his Snickers Super Bowl commercial was funny. He and Betty White. Um, it was the that was that the first Snickers celebrity I think so. one? Yeah. I think yeah. yeah. She yeah. got tackled in yeah. the mud. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now on to Will Smith. Sounds fun. <laughs> Will Smith's Oscar boycott. His not, not his first award show boycott. Actually, somebody went back and remembered that he gave an interview to Entertainment Tonight in the late eighties. It's because uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince were nominated for best rap performance for Parents Just Don't Understand. Um, but the that actual award was not going to be televised. They were going to give it away before the show. Here's what he had to say to E.T. We chose the boycott. We feel that it's a slap in the face. We, we don't have a problem with the Grammy as an award or the Grammy as an institution. We just had a problem with the 1989 design of the award show. We feel that our music was important enough and is important enough to have been on this show. They don't know anything about rap music. And our boycott was to open their eyes to rap music so next year some rap group will be able to perform on the Grammys and the, the award will be televised because the music is in large enough and important enough to be on that show. I give him props for yeah, that. Right. Yeah. yeah, and let me say, the next year it was televised, and the Grammys were way behind. Best Rap Album was not a category until 1995. It was almost like... But you understand like, that. You, you understand that. In some of these categories that are new, the, you know... They pe- want to make sure that it's, it's it has sustainable. legs. Yeah. It's, it's repeatable. It's mm-hmm. Yes, and, you know, as a viewer... We don't want to watch something we don't understand, so they present them off. St- you but still man, win parents it. Parents just don't understand was so, so probably big. the biggest mm-hmm. song of that yeah. year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they had there were jokes for a while because then as the Grammys added rap categories, it like didn't get it. Was kind of well, I mean, you didn't have the the rappers that a lot of people and a lot of artists respected. But yeah, the Grammys were definitely behind the times in adding that. I think they were. I think some of the people in charge thought, oh, it's a fad. Hopefully it'll go away. Yeah, Parents Don't Understand wasn't the toughest no, rap song. Not at all. <laughs> but I loved it. Take it from me. Parents <laughs> just don't understand. Um, this I don't understand at all. The casting of a new film in which Michael Jackson is one of the characters. Joseph Fiennes has been cast to play what? Michael Jackson. The guy from Shakespeare in Love, right? Is that Ray Fine's brother? I don't or? know. If, I don't think they're related. They're no, not. I think they are. are I, they? I think they, they are, too. But it's brother. the guy that was in Shakespeare in Love. Yeah. They look nothing alike. And he's got dark hair. Ooh. But he doesn't look anything like Michael Jackson. Right. No, no, no. But this is interesting. And we've heard this story before. Following 9-11... Michael Jackson, Elizabeth Taylor, and Marlon Brando were all in New York City, and they wanted to make it back to L.A. All the airports were shut down. Is this the start of a joke? No. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) So they rented a car and started to drive across the country. Oh, it sounds fascinating. It does. Who's driving, I wonder, you know? Yeah. Stocker Channing apparently has signed on to play Elizabeth Taylor and Brian Cox as Marlon. Uh, Joseph Fiennes confirmed the report. He said it's a fun, lighthearted, tongue-in-cheek road trip of what celebrity is like. But it's also rather beautiful and poignant about their relationship as well. But it's a weird casting yeah. call. It's almost like well, Tropic get, Thunder. Well, like, exactly. Let's get an African-American like, guy. To, especially well, with all the Oscar controversy. Now. Thank you. Let's say, I, you know you're not going to get nominated for this. 
You can't get nominated for this no. role. Um, this one is for Kevin. There's apparently a little house in, on the prairie movie in the works. That's all. You okay. don't need to play the music. You have to play the music. <laughs> By the way, any word on who's casted? I mean, no. you, casted. You, casted. casted. <laughs> who's cast? cast? I was going old and speak. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, right. Who was Anonymous. casted? He's, he's talking your. <laughs> Is that what we call it? Not you and speak not Speak your to me, Landon. Kevin. Wait, I want to hear some more oh, your. Okay. No, I, I think I, 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 I. <laughs> Just say manly. I, I, was, I was curious about who's going to be playing manly because if it's, she doesn't know. If it's Ryan Reynolds, I know where my wife's going to be. <laughs> It's like her well, dream come yeah, true. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Oh. No. Let's get the petition started. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Tyler in an interview said he and John Bon Jovi were instrumental in getting Guns N' Roses back together. By the way, for their upcoming shows in Vegas, a $2,500 VIP experience is for sale and does not include a meeting with the band. <laughs> Sounds They're like just kind of sounds similar to your pink deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Like, yeah, I bought an eight hundred dollar ticket. I got a uh, lap blanket. And you, were, you didn't even have a seat. No, we didn't. No. I was standing room. It in the was. Pit. Uh, it was the greatest night of my life <laughs> up until that point. That's entertainment, Schmig. More online at y98.com.